Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel and for today's video we're gonna do something stupid. And uh, what I mean by that is the fact that I've been avoiding them this week while hunting in this area and that is the Iberian Wolves. For two reasons. One, the recurve. I am not that confident in my capabilities and I'm already going the wrong way. Let's try that again. And two, I don't have a HUD. So with dealing with the wolves, anytime you're going to get in close range, you can pretty much expect that you're going to get hit. And when the HUD's on, that's not a big deal. You monitor your health, you hit with reef uh, packs and whatnot, and all should be good. However, since I'm not running with a HUD, I kind of have to try and keep track of my health by realizing how many times I've been hit and switch to my health packs. Matter of fact, something I'm going to do, I'm going to actually move these up to here and I think I'm going to do that. So now I can hopefully switch in a decent amount of time. <sighs> this is going to be fun. But I also am pretty much out of money. Wow, I am really out of money. So wolves pay a pretty good amount. I think you're pretty much guaranteed about a grand a piece. And yeah, so that's what we're going to go for. And yesterday we heard them over on this side of the lake. So I'm going to wander over here. And basically the idea is stumble across them, aggro them, and then attempt to take them with the recurve or the compound. Uh, that's going to be determined as I get closer and figure out how confident I feel. Off to find some wolves. <laughs> okay, that call came from somewhere. But the... Hang on a second. Wow, I didn't even see that bugger down here. Which is dumb, because I should have known he was here. I saw him yesterday. Alright, that marks the halfway point. We're halfway around the lake. We made it to the other outpost. Yesterday, I'd already heard wolves over here. Today, nothing. Hmm. A bunch of drinking females. It's usually a pretty good sign. Oh. And my wind is going behind me. I know, I said wolves, but can I pass that up? It's just a six, but it might be worth trying to nail. Not to mention we gotta use a little bit of Murphy's Law. You can never find something whenever you're looking for it. Once you stop looking for it, you won't be able to stop finding it. So maybe... Okay, wait, that says four... E oh, there's two stags in there? There's a four easy and the sixth. Easily distinguishable. There's like no bushes around or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I have the collar for red deer. I'm hoping to try and get up on one of these rocks and call them to me and then just do a prone shot. All right, so we're gonna stay down here because apparently... I forgot the game character has no knees and can't take that six inch step. So the one we're looking for is in the bushes right there. Wow. Like it was nothing. I shot the tree. But I didn't miss him the second time. Oh, all right. We're going to take this opportunity to get up on a rock just so I have a little more elevation and potentially protection in case some wolves come in. I nailed that tree, though. That's a dead tree. All right. They're already coming back. That should be him. Oh, yeah, that's him right there. Oh, he's about to drop. I kind of hope he gets back in close enough that. Uh, or not. All right. Well, he dropped. We're going to lose that score. So we'll just hope the spore here will play nice. That was a miss. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was a miss. Ah, uh, I got a gut shot on that one too. So I'm guessing... Warning call from the female. So I'm guessing the first shot was too low. And the second shot... That clearly, that was gut and testing or something. Yeah, because there's the six on the ground. Just out of curiosity, though. I, I did it again. Gut shot. Well, that was a horrible fail. Go collect our kills. I just got blinking arrows all over the place now. Yep. Too low, right? Hmm. Too low. He would have been a 162, so he wouldn't even made gold. Still, easy grand. I'm going to head back and grab the track for the four. And I'm going to take a whack. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, what is that? Go north? Yeah, I'm going to have to go back north after this. Didn't he walk up right, like, right around here? I'm not seeing any blood over here. Okay, so that's the female. Oh, there we go. 
This is the four. Pretty clear cut. Yeah, pretty clear cut trail here. Oh, had to open my mouth, didn't I? What's that right there? Okay, there's the female, and I think there's the four. Okay, so now that I know where these guys are, let's run down, grab the female, and then over and grab the four. Intestine. Yep, too far back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Almost ran completely past them. Too far to the rear. I. All right, so I I'm getting elevation down. It's getting the target over the knuckle and stop trying to line it up with the arrow. I'm up here. I can hear him right now howling. Ah. Wait. Yeah? Where'd you go? Am I actually gonna have a... Wait, difficult time getting these guys to go aggressive on me today? Yeah, right here in front of me. Where? He must be by himself. Because usually if they're in a pack, I mean, they'll have already charged me and start chewing on me. I don't want to wander down there too much. I want to keep some open ground here. Aha! That's a six hard. And he is just running. So he's got to be by himself. I'll see if he responds to a caller, but chances are it's not going to work because you'll I'll have to try and sneak up on this one. If he's not in a pack, he's not going to go aggressive as easily. What are the chances? Hmm. Is that him? Well, unfortunately, my wind is bad, so if they come up more to the right before they come in if i even get the caller to work i rarely ever see a response to the caller which kind of makes sense i mean it's not their feeding time but there are a pair of lakes that way Alrighty, i guess i'm going to move up and to the right into this next ridge line and see what i can see that way i guess the haze moving in is definitely not helping and i really have to hope it's a pack i know it sounds weird to hope for but a pack will be easier to get them to go aggressive than one by itself. Uh. Wait. Oh my lord. There's a bush right there. That I swear was the butt end of a wolf sticking out, but nope, just a bush. Freaking hell. Damn roe deer. Scared the crap out of me. Wow. I mean, you saw that just sail clean over him, and I'm gonna take wolves on? Ooh, yeah, sure. How many arrows have I spent? All right, I saw plenty. I mean, that that was just clean over. All right, well, I'm not seeing anything that way, so check head up here and check this other lake. I know I heard him over here. Oh yeah, I almost shot that roe deer with the wrong arrow. I just realized that. Ah, well, that would have sucked. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, hopefully that means they're over this hill, not up there. Move on track. All right. Still not a wolf. All right, looking for... Why is all the brush so damn loud in this area? Um, looking pretty clear in this little valley here. I'm going to assume they're probably taking a nap under the trees. So we're going to move down to that body of water and keep scanning around. Well, before I turn attention to the fact they're calling from up the hill, I just want to check down here. That's a good size Ibex. I have to keep that in mind. All right, up here, I guess. This seems like a great idea. I mean, theoretically, if I'm hearing them, because I still believe that that howl happens at render range. It's kind of like the announcement that they've come into render range, which is 450 yards. This slope here looks like it stops at 350, so they should be visible somewhere up here. Now, downside is I think my wind's going this way, so they're gonna smell me before they see me. So earlier when I was between the two lakes, I heard them coming from up here, and then as I got to the second lake, I heard them coming from up here, so rules of triangulation means they're up here. Well, we're definitely pushing a bunch of mouflon through. Actually, some decent sized ones over there. Still no sign or sound of any wolves. Well, that's reassuring.
I'm starting to realize that at this point I have made two major mistakes. One, when that six gave me its first warning call, I should have gone quiet and tried to get around it or get it close enough that it had no choice but to go aggressive. Two, I should have tracked it instead of starting trying to follow this pack. Because I don't... These things can go on forever. So let's say it's still wandering this way. I have found wolves up here. See, do I have the zone up here? Yeah, zone's up. I should have gone to this lake. But instead, I'm on this one. In case anyone's wondering, it's been an hour and 40 minutes of meandering. Um, what happened here? Why is the trail overgrown and there are trees in it? Like, you can see with the terrain change that this is supposed to be a trail. Okay. Well, that's not good. Uh, wait a... Whoa, what? Oh, why? That's, that's something that probably needs to be fixed. Okay, so they tried to erase the road and missed a spot? I'm not even sure what's going on there. That's why the grass floats around the road. The road is actually under the map. And they just cleared the debris to make it look like a dirt road. Well, as much fun as it would probably be to explore the rest of that and find out why it's all broken. I'm hoping to have to use a recurve to keep from getting chewed on. Okay, I know where I am now. That hill right over there. Bear and I downed a wolf with pistols during a stream at night, and I actually have been chewed on by a wolf down on this road by myself once. There are definitely wolves in this area. Ha! Huh. This trail is incredibly overgrown as well. What the hell is going on here? I literally was just that way. Whoa, hang on a second here. What? Now the road is invisible and just takes everything's color away. That's broken. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the road is broken. I'm also gonna go with a complete sense of frustration because I just heard the wolves up that way. And literally I was just standing right there looking down here. Hey, what? Now the path has gone completely. Oh no, there it is. That is very broken. Yeah, that's very broken. So the roads are just, what? They're supposed to be painted over the terrain? I don't understand what's happening here. They're on a different level, clearly. Like, not the mesh level. What's weird is this wasn't like it, like last time I came down this road. We could always take a look and see what it is. There he is. Can I get my binos? That's a seven. He's on the other side of this tree. There he is. Be smart about it, right? Let him come up a little bit. What? What the hell just happened? What? 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 Just happened. I don't see my tracer blinking on the ground, so it seems like I got them. Whoop! That was dumb. Oh look! Apparently, there's supposed to be some brick or something over here. Or is this a road? Is that what this is supposed to be? Kind of hard to tell with the whatever the hell's going on. Can I uh, get some movement out of you? Why is he nervous? You know what? I wonder if it has something to do with me being in the road, like. If it's showing me not covered or something, I have no idea. I don't have my hood on. So I have no idea how the half-invisible road thing is affecting the game. He's just... Is he stuck-stuck? Because he hasn't stopped turning around between those two trees this whole time. I don't get what he's so nervous about. The wind is going to the right. What are you so nervous about, man? I, I honestly actually think he's kind of broken. So I'm going to scoot up. And there's another bush over here I'm going to attempt to get to. 
He's just acting really weird. Like he's slowly moving over, but he just keeps going through the same calms down immediately back to nervous state. It's like the, uh, what you call it, when they made it to where they're not supposed to respond to callers in their nervous state. It's like that part of him is breaking. Okay, he's calm now. Does that mean he's out of his loop? What? How the hell is he going? Where the hell did he go? And just like that, he is gone. Wait. Mary, why is he fleeing? You're walking around, genius. Okay, well... Whatever was wrong with him appears to have been fixed. Maybe. And the question is, can I make it back to a bush or something? I don't know how... Well, no, because if I get him close enough... I'm just worried that shooting at the ground, like, too close to the ground is what got me in trouble last time. Could you, could you come this way a bit more? Don't, don't wander around me. Hang back to over this way just a little. He's gonna go into my wind, isn't he? Yep. Just pop up then. Wait, where'd he go? See, if I stayed in that brush over there, everything would be fine. There he is. Come on, walk up a little bit more. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me? There he goes. I got too close. Not funny. Y'all be quiet. Alright, so I'm guessing his original path before I interfered had him going off to the left somewhere. And he's... he's gone. Son of a biscuit. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot around here. Like, right before we started crawling around for that red deer, we had... rabbits and roe deer and the wolves howling. Now we have... nothing. Uh, back to my teleporting mystery road. That's merely out of anger for not being able to get other things. Oh, wow. I screwed that one up. There we go. That's a long... some money. Alright, so, comments down below. The road thing. That wasn't like that the last time I was in this area of the map. Is that new? Is that something wrong with my game specifically? Or is everyone having this issue? I just... that's... that's ridiculous. You know what? After today's hunt, I needed that. So this guy here... Oh. Well, wherever the one that I shot over here went. Oh, that was a non-vital? Dang. Oh, they're both right here, though. So that was the extra little whistle, the one that makes them stop in their track. And uh, that seems to work. So, okay, this is the one I whistled to stop and I shot high, got his shoulder blade. No vital organs, but he would have been a decent sized gold. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, that had to be a good one, right? Uh, again, I was high. And he would have been a 78. So, 10 off from diamond. He's, they're getting there. But again, I aimed high. I gotta remember that that yellow pin is 40, and I need to put that yellow pin down here. So, still a pair of bad shots, but two down animals. It's been almost four hours. No luck on the wolves. I'll we'll try again next time. I know where to go. I should have gotten, gone there in the first place. Try and make a difference next time. So there are buttons if you liked it. Buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.